the Mind, the Naked Truth Podcast, along with Indigo Lady. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We have some special, special, special today. We've been getting a lot, a lot of emails, inboxes, and requests. So today, we're going to elaborate a lot on this segment. It's Mastermind's opinion. Perspective. Perspective. Yeah, <laughs> sounds better. Mastermind perspective, because you know everybody want to put their little twist on this, that, and the third. So we're going to say perspective. And uh, bear with us, listen, learn, and we're going to take things to the next level. And this podcast, once again, is brought to you by success. Sip it, believe it, achieve it. Get your wine right now on successbeverages.com. The best in the business is here. It's everywhere. You got to have it. Success. Who don't want it? Who don't need it? Who don't believe in it? We have to toast to that. <laughs> yes, indeed. So let's jump into this thing, man. They've been filling us up with a lot of questions, concerns, and we do the best of my ability. Positive vibes. We're going to make this thing happen, man. 2022. Let's go with it. Okay, so we're going to just dive right in, right? Yes, yes, indeed. Let's go. Let's okay, go. Okay, so what is your perspective on someone who wants to become a professional photographer or videographer? Yes, indeed. Uh, first thing first, um, I would say you have to have vision. Mm -hmm. You have to actually want to be in the business to do business. Right. You know, so that means you have to do your research. Uh, you have to get quality equipment, mm -hmm. you know, you have to be willing to be coachable. You understand what I'm saying? Um, you have to be willing to accept constructive criticism, you know, um, cause even with me, I've been doing photography about 10 years now, but every moment is a learning process for me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a, it's a learning process for me. I never get too big to learn things. I'm always upgrading with my camera equipment, my lights, finding better ways to do things. But most important of all, mastermind has vision. So as a videographer, photographer, professionally, um, you definitely have to study your craft. Mm -hmm. You know, great customer service. Um, don't be on no, no creep shit. Because there's a lot of creep shit going on out here and y'all really making it bad for the serious photographers and videographers out here in the world. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, just stop it. Just stop it. You know who you are. People have been pointing y'all out. Man, this is a business. You know, if you want to do other things, go somewhere else and do that. You know, we're supposed to be embracing each other. And you have to... Anytime it's business, ladies and gentlemen, understand this business is never free. Right. So you can't be doing free shoots and, oh, I want to do this. this. Man, listen, you have to get in the, the, the reality of things um, because let's just be honest. Anybody that really do something, anybody that really... Uh, is in the trenches of doing something and getting better and better and better and they have became a professional, there's no way in hell that they're willing to do anything for free. Right. Nothing comes out of free. So let's talk about like some of the red flags that people out there can avoid when it comes um, to... From a photographer's standpoint? Yeah. Uh, respecting people. Okay. Um, making people feel comfortable. Don't be on no creep stuff. Um, these women don't want you. Don't touch them. <laughs> don't make no move on them. Because if they want you, they will make a move on you, bro. <laughs> Stop touching these women. Stop talking greasy to them. Stop making them feel uncomfortable because this is a business. I hear it all the time. You know, y'all need to stop that, man. Because, and get paid for your work. Take your work serious enough that you want to get paid for it. This cannot be a hobby. This cannot be a 
something on the side or whatever the case may be. This has to be serious business because anytime you take any work serious, you're trying to get paid for it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So keeping it business, keeping it respectable and honorable, everybody that's involved, I believe, can end up going a lot further and, uh, and everybody can progress because that's what it's all about. Growth and development and progress. So would you say that's what takes you from being like, you know, an amateur or like something that's just your side hustle to being a professional? Well, understanding that just the nature of business mm -hmm. within itself, because you have to understand that this is a business. And I can't say it enough. Business is not free because people have done the statistics and the studies um, or even if you're charging too cheap, you know, you think that you're gaining more clients by going cheaper, but the, the reality of things, anytime somebody sees something too cheap, they put it in a category as not being as quality. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like so, Walmart. <laughs> exactly. No shade Walmart. No shade. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so at the end of the day, you definitely have to put value on your work. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to put value on your work. I agree. Uh, you have to be on time. You have to respect people. People will respect you. Um, just be up front. No hidden agendas. Transparency is the key. Exactly. You know, uh, communication. Um, and just try to get better. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing rubs me the wrong way, people, with this business. is just by seeing so many people picking up a camera. Just because you got a camera or go buy a cheap camera, that does not make you a professional photographer. It doesn't make you a photographer at all. Right. Quick question. Just because a man got on a lab coat and a thermometer, does that make him a doctor? You might want to question him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at the same time, in between time, it's the same thing. Like we, we you, you have to put in your work. You have to do your due diligence. Um, that's very, very important, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, to all the young entrepreneur, photographers, videographers, men and women, you know, God bless y'all, man. And just level up and do the right thing, man. And deal with people that want to deal with you. You know, deal with people that respect your businesses, respect your visions, and always get better. Definitely from that perspective. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just segueing into another subject that you've been getting a lot of emails and questions about. For people who are looking to get into professional modeling and building their brand, what is your perspective and what um, bits of advice could you have for them or do you have for them? Right, right. Um, definitely um, being able to know what you want to do mm -hmm. and have the mindset that you don't want nothing for free because when you're looking for stuff for free or next to nothing, you're not practicing the nature of business because like I said before, free doesn't exist in business, period. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the way you start something, ladies and gentlemen, this is the way that it's going to end up. And last time I checked, people ain't never had a problem that from people that paid them. Right. You know, you should own your own stuff. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Don't get out here, get to shooting with anybody that got a cheap camera. Uh, you need to know who you're working with. You need to know uh, if this really their work. Do they take it serious? Uh, because as approaching the the level of becoming a professional model mm -hmm. people see you that you don't know see you so if you spend so much time just trying to take pictures and throwing out a lot of trash and a lot of garbage because it's out here i'm seeing it every day mm -hmm. no shade to nobody but we got to do better people and it starts with us the way we approach things you understand what i'm saying right because free ain't never been good it's too much bullshit that comes with free. You're never respected. You're never going to get your pictures nine times out of ten. And it comes with a whole bunch of strings and attachments and a whole bunch of other goofy shit that really just play with your self-esteem. Right. 
right. and nothing ever gets done. And then on top of that, you need to practice business. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And free shit, or that's my partner, or so many people been wanting to shoot me. Man, listen, if you serious about this thing, be willing to invest in yourself. So nobody can hold your pictures hostage. Oh, he been, he, I shot him three months ago. I didn't get my pictures and, or, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you get what you pay for. Right. So you essentially know? vet, you know, the person that's going to be your photographer. Is that what you're trying to say? Who that? Vet them. Like. Oh, yeah, yeah, do definitely. You do some background checks. Yeah. Uh, simple things. Look up and down people's social media. People engage, you can tell when people are really into this thing because they eat, sleep, shit the business. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Uh, there's no way in hell somebody can tell you, I want to work with you, I want to manage you, and you can't find out a one fucking thing that makes no sense on their social media because social media is the platform that everybody networks on. It is. So we just have to just... Uh, do I do diligence, man? Do I do diligence? And uh, because just as much as it's a lot of photographers' fault for the fuck shit, mm -hmm. it's also a lot of these models or so-called models with the fuck shit as well mm -hmm. because they don't want to pay. Anybody that don't want to pay for the things that, they're, that they want or say that they want to be a part of, business is not for you. Period. Business is not for you. Right. Because you do not have a business mindset. You have to invest in yourself. It takes time, mm -hmm. effort, money, running in the right circles. Because if I'm managing you, right, check this out. Most people feel like if they attach themselves to a lot of different things, that that works in their favor. It doesn't. Right. Because if it's garbage, it's garbage. I would rather involve a model that I'm managing in 10 events hypothetically it's gonna be a lot more than that cuz I, I work people you know what I mean we're gonna get it so but my thing is this I would rather put you in 10 I would rather involve you in 10 different situations that will level you up than a hundred situations that was just dead in bullshit because it's a lot of bullshit going on out here in this entertainment world and it's more so sticking with this modeling photography industry right now. Right. It's a lot of it going on because people are not in this business for business. They're in it for pleasure. And when you're in it for pleasure, you are fucking up people's flow of money and business that really eat off their work. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, my thing is this, hell, if y'all just really want to pay for some pussy, then just negotiate that with them. You know what I'm saying? Sure, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just negotiate that for them. Don't, don't involve no photography, no management, none of that extra shit when that ain't even really what you do. You don't even do that. Right. You're not even no professional photographer. You're a nigga with a camera. Excuse my French. You know what I'm saying? But I'm being honest because I'm sick of seeing it. I've been seeing it for years. And so many women around the world, when I have conversations or when I work with them, they be so thankful, so amazed because when they work with me, it's an experience of building. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I'm about my paper. You cannot pay for my services with no coochie coupon. No ass cash expense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it won't happen. Period. <laughs> and I'm going to drink some success to that. <laughs> success beverages. <laughs> Dot com. Go get your wine right now. <laughs> you know, sip it, believe it, achieve it. The best wine on the market. Ladies, when you're in that moment, when you done done with a, deal with a fucked up photographer, he done messed up your pictures, you want a peace of mind. Baby, get you some success. It'll do it to you. Yeah, it will. When your old man done cheated, you know what I'm saying? When he don't want to do the right thing, you know? Don't call Shirley. Get you a bottle of success. Get you a bottle of success. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when that tired-ass manager fucking with you at work and stressing you out. Yes. 
Get you a bottle. Get you a bottle of success. Success. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Guaranteed. But yes, let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. They get it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Go so ahead. with all the information that you know about um, getting into photography and mm -hmm. videography, models and building a brand, mm -hmm. what to look out for, how to vet the photographer and the videographer, mm -hmm. knowing that you can't do anything for free, we just recapping for you guys. Mm -hmm. And bringing it all together, you definitely have to know something about the business in general. Mm -hmm. So what advice do you have for anyone that is inspired to own their own business? Like what steps possibly do they need to take? Any advice that you can give them on how to start or what to start or anything like that? Do your research. Don't just have an epiphany one day and just start just doing it any kind of old dusty ass ratchet way. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to be professional. I don't care if it's something as small as a logo, business card, a Facebook page, professional photography, whatever, videography. You have to be professional because the thing about it is nowadays, this is 2022 Ladies and gentlemen, there's more scheming, scamming going on out here. So you have to be able to present your business as a legitimate business for people to be able to take you serious. Mm -hmm. And don't be sitting up crying when people don't support you that you think supposed to support you. That's not the way to do it. Don't act out and pout on social media or none of that. You have to sit down. You have to come to me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it we sit plus. down. You know what I mean? plus. Yes, yes, indeed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we sit down, we put you together the best business plan for you mm -hmm. to work around the clock so we can sell or improve your product right. or enhance your particular product. Right. Stop getting caught up on what you see on the internet, the pressure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Of the internet is wearing us the fuck out. It is. <laughs> because we're trying to compete with a post. We don't know these people life. Right. Don't do that to yourself. Mm -hmm. Stop doing it to yourself. Or don't do it to yourself. Because at the end of the day, they're only posting the highlights of good things. But people are crying outside. Be the best person you could do. You could be. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's if it's a restaurant. I don't care if it's modeling, photography. Uh, you want to own, you know, you you having a nursing business. Excuse me, tax service. Whatever you got going on, customer service is very good. Investing into your business. Right. Stop thinking word of mouth is it. It's not. You know what I'm saying? 2022. Go get you. As a matter of fact, come see me. Come see me. That's what you Just do. That's the you. best thing. Come see me <laughs> and we'll put you on the right track. Right. Because at the end of the day, uh, we have a chance and a choice every day we get up. We have to be more productive, ladies and gentlemen. You, yes, you, worldwide. We have to be more productive. Indeed. And stop cheating yourself. Mm -hmm. If you got ten thousand dollars to spend on your business, you want to spend five hundred. <laughs> stop it! Stop it right now because that ain't gonna do nothing. Any legitimate business, ladies and gentlemen. People invest. You have to keep the wheel going. You have to keep the wheel going. You have to do your due diligence. You need a professional <laughs> marketing team that can strategize ways to 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 bring revenue in. Right. You have to do this. We can't continue to run around here like a chicken with our head cut off. We want to do the photo shoot with our phone. We want to do the graphics. We want to do the website. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I'm my own manager. Listen, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. You need to find people such as myself that help you line up what you need. And stop being shady and shysty. Being shady and shysty, you would never succeed in life. Mm -hmm. 
ever because no matter how much money you think you getting or what you seem like you're progressing on, you'll never get to where you need to be because if you're not right, it ain't going to work. Right. You have to be right. You have to be legit. You have to have great customer service. You know, you can't take people money. If you can't do the job, leave people alone. You do not have a real business when you running around here. Say you got a boutique, but you screenshotting pictures. Come on, man. <laughs> Cut it out. Y'all spend money on trips. Y'all spend money on trips. Y'all go wherever y'all want to go in the world, but when it come down to your business, you want to put $2 in there. But you want to make a million dollars. You have to invest in yourself, and you have to invest in your business. Yes, indeed. It's imperative. One of my favorite words. You have to do that. That's so important because I sit back and I watch people on the internet. Just because somebody else did something or you think that they're making money doing what they're doing, that's not necessarily for you. Mm -hmm. You have to find out what works for you, ladies and gentlemen. You understand what I'm saying? Stop chasing everything you see and stop spending so fucking much time on TikTok. Y'all look like some crazy ass bobbleheads. You know what I'm saying? Those ad breaks are there for a reason. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's destroying the way we communicate mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. People can go on TikTok and make crazy, ignorant videos. And, and, and the reason why I don't like it, just, just to, to clear it up, it's okay. Sometimes it's funny. But just to see this crap all day, every day, it reminds me of blackface. You see what I'm saying? Because that's all we doing is just acting a fool. So you mean to tell me no one is interested in doing legitimate business anymore? People just want to look stupid and crazy and hop around and bounce their titties and, 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 you know, eat dog food or whatever the fuck they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we can't continue to do that. Some of y'all may not like it, but you need to hear it. Because one thing for sure and two things for certain, medicine don't taste good, but it's damn sure good for you. And a lot of y'all may say, damn, mastermind talk too much. Maybe you need to shut up and listen. That's what you need to do. Stop worrying about what I'm saying and watch what I'm doing. And then you may learn something and you may be blessed. You got to do the right thing, man. To. Stop trying to cheat people. Stop going into situations. And the reason why I'm speaking on this is because I see it every day. Stop going into situations already in shice mode. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I agree with that. You know what I mean? Because and there's people out here right around you that can legitimately help you. But you want to use them for free. You want to use them up. You don't want to pay them. You want to get over. Man, listen, man. In legitimate businesses, you can't get over. God will not bless that way, ladies and gentlemen. He will not. You know what I'm saying? You have to do the right thing because what I was taught growing up is only right to do right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We have to do the right thing if we want the right thing to follow us. Do our due diligence. Study. Research. What are people buying? What are people spending the most money on? Yes. Finding a way to do it in a in a very professional way. Stop worrying about the people you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, I've been in business and this entertainment thing all the way around it for 20 some odd years. I never begged nobody to support me. But I pay very close attention to who have. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So my thing is, I'm never going to get upset with who don't buy success because at the end of the day, I know it's a great product. It's black owned. I'm taking it to the next level. You understand what I'm saying? That's your loss. It's something inside you that got you tore all up that you can't go support something good, something great, and something different. And it is good. You understand what I'm saying? You have to get the hatred out of your heart if you want God to bless your circle.
your family, your business. Get this hatred out your heart. Period, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about family members, brothers, sisters, so-called friends, associates, work people, all of this. Get the hatred out your heart, man. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Unlearn and relearn. That's what you all need to do. And no matter how good you are doing and you think you're doing, it's always another level up. It's always another level up. Always. Get the hatred out your heart. Because... Our race of people understand this. I'm not impressed by who have, by individual success. I'm impressed by group success. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. On some, some, some economic type shit. Because anything that we have ever done as a race of people, it had to be a group effort. Right. It was, it was it was never that's right and everybody keep asking why we can't that's what we're missing mm -hmm. and to the people that are getting supported by black owned businesses stop taking your ass to Gucci and Louis Vuitton wait a minute <laughs> you understand what I'm saying stop taking your ass down there to the casinos you need to circulate that money and blessings in the black community yes you need to. I'm for my people. And just because I'm for my people doesn't mean that I'm against anybody. Right. It's time for the bullshit to stop. So what are the statistics again in the Jewish community 13 to 1? Man, 13 to 1. 13 to 1. They going to do what they do. You right. see what I'm saying? Unapologetic. We the one keep making excuses mm -hmm. why we don't want to do this, this, this. and Cut the bullshit out today. Mm -hmm. Today, ladies and gentlemen. Toast of success, man. God bless. Y'all get y'all shit together, man. We all could make it. We all could be blessed. But you got to change your mind and your heart. Mastermind of Naked Truth, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful indigo lady, man. Successbeverages.com. Go get it right now. Get that hatred out your heart because you're blocking your blessings. God bless all y'all, man. 2022, man. It's time to level up.